Welcome to this ARX University lesson. My name is Jim Keen. This lesson is very important for the purpose of understanding how all of this works. A misunderstanding of this process that I'm about to talk about has led to many people wasting their time and becoming hurt with their exercise, assuming that more is better. So I guess another title for this talk could be Why More Is Not Better. Here's how exercise works. Up top, number one, the workout. That's the stimulus. That leads to the organism, number two. And then the organism produces the adaptation, number three. And now there's a couple of conditions. The stimulus only can affect the organism, only can be applied to the organism if it includes those three blocks you see. Mechanical tension, muscle damage, metabolic stress, and each element of the stimulus produces a different adaptation. But the important point is that each element of the stimulus is applied to the organism. And then I mentioned the organism produces the adaptation, but it only produces the adaptation if it is provided with these three blocks. Sleep, nutrition, relaxation. Only if it gets those three things will it produce that long list of results that we want to see. And this is what everybody wants from exercise. We want improved body composition, increased strength, enhanced resistance to injury, and all the rest, and probably a bunch of stuff that we didn't have room for in this image. Uh, so how come people think that more is better? Looking at this, it would be pretty obvious that once the organism has been stimulated, there's probably no good reason to keep beating a dead horse, because the stimulus does not directly produce any desired result. In fact, it's a stress on the body, and overall, it's catabolic. And so more is definitely not better. Look at underneath organism. The organism does all the good stuff. It directly produces the desired results. It responds to the environmental stress. The organism, you, you're anabolic. And so if you have the stimulus that's catabolic, and you are anabolic, and you want those results, it would obviously be a mistake to do the stimulus over and over and over again, more, 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 thinking that one directly leads to three, skipping over this middleman entirely. And that's just not the case. So we have people thinking that one goes right to three, and so they don't do one or two workouts per week. They do three, four, five, six, seven. I know people who do two-a-days, and I'm sure you do too. And each workout isn't 15, 20 minutes. Each workout is a half hour at least, and an hour would be better, and most people feel pretty good about spending an hour and a half in the gym under the mistaken idea that more is better, thinking that the stimulus directly produces the results. But that's not the case. They're skipping over this middleman. The organism is super important. You need to balance out number one and number two. So number one, if it doesn't directly produce the result that we want, it's not like we want to minimize it completely because you do need a stimulus, but we want to find the minimum effective dose for each person. And so how much do we actually need? How much mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic stress can we accrue without wasting our time or hurting ourselves? And then the organism, see, this is where more is better. The organism directly produces the desired results, so let's do more of that. So sleep, nutrition, relaxation... It's not a quantity thing, like we need more of everything necessarily. It's quality. Higher quality sleep, higher quality nutrition, higher quality relaxation. That's where more is better. And so as you're designing ARX workouts for yourself and for clients and associates, keep this in mind. We're not trying to do a workout every day that's 45 minutes long. Uh, we're trying to do the minimum necessary. And there will be other videos talking about frequencies and training volume and other stuff like that. But this is the big picture. This is why uh, exercise works when it does. And this is how you can mess it up by trying to skip from one to three. So be smart. Apply the stimulus. Provide plenty of sleep and nutrition. And you're going to get the results.